What's up Ubuntu users, all things Ubuntu here with uh, breaking news, uh, there is a free office suite available right now that runs natively on uh, Ubuntu and uh, on other kind of Linux distros that uh, will solve most of, if not all of, the compatibility issues that you might be experiencing when you try to open up uh, Microsoft Office document files. Also, it has a great user interface and it's very stable. Um, so here we have a document that uh, failed to to, uh, to open correctly in LibreOffice Writer. You can see, might not be able to read German, but you can see all the words are cut here and all the formatting is all over the place. So um, I tried uh, to uh, convince LibreOffice Writer to make it come up there correctly, which involves a lot of dragging around things and clicking, and sometimes it doesn't work. You, you see now, but maybe I move the picture and it does now and doesn't make a lot of sense. So that takes 20 minutes to make it display correctly so that's not an option when you actually want to get your work done so um here is the new software that i told you about that's wps office suite and this is the wps writer of course and bam you, you see that great user interface i mean it looks beautiful and uh, you see how well it interprets the document x format and uh, we do have that problem here with the with the words being cut but when you want to change that you just click here and then you click on that paragraph icon and all you need to do is drag that to the left do it once again here and that's it you're done two seconds and you have your document come up just like it should and um, you can you can work with that so that is great but there is still a huge downside uh, when you want to use that WPS uh, Office software suite. So I would, would not recommend to use it as your number one go-to main Office suite and Office application. Um, because, I mean, when you look at that interface, um, you see that's just like the Microsoft Office ribbon interface. Come on, that looks like a copycat version of, of Microsoft Word. You see even that word out, although I never use it, but it looks really like Microsoft. Um, so um, so would you be surprised if I told you that this software is developed in China? Probably not. Um, and, and that's the problem. Uh, if you download that software, you have to agree to an end-user license agreement, which uh, says by accepting that uh, license agreement, you agree to abide by Chinese law, whatever that, that might mean. So here's the problem. You know, I did not study Chinese law, so I have no idea what I'm agreeing to. And I have no idea how well Chinese law is handling privacy. So they say that they will transfer data considering your use and, um, and how well the program runs, how stable it is. That's okay. It's an alpha testing version. I'm not surprised by that. They want to gain and gather some data so that they can improve their product. Um, but, you know, I would not... Um, I would not recommend that you use this software to um, to edit or to create files that contain sensitive data like product ideas and so. Um, I mean, to get it, that's easy. Just uh, open up um, open up a browser, type in ws-community.org uh, and click on downloads. So it looks like it's free open source software, but it's not, you know. Read through that end user license agreement, you will see. You're not allowed to view the source code. You're not allowed to change it, you know. Um, so, um, so that's not open source software. Um, it solves the problems that you might uh, have and it is an alternative to boot up Microsoft Windows and use Microsoft Office in order to print out a document or change a document that does not contain sensitive files. But um, what I do, and this is what I would recommend that you do as well, um, I'm using uh, OpenOffice instead of LibreOffice, which does a much better job. You see, that's how the document came up in OpenOffice right away. So that's just as good as WPS Writer. It's free. It's open source. So I trust. Uh, I trust. Uh, I trust uh, the Apache Group much more than some Chinese kind of company. And um, you see, we also have the problem here that the words are cut, but it's easy. Just uh, you just uh, select that. And uh, this is a German version of OpenOffice, but I can tell you this is the uh, this is uh, indent after text, which you would just have to increase. And um, you can see, you can just watch it while you do that, which is good because in LibreOffice this is not possible. You would have to click on OK every time, which is very annoying if you need to fix a formatting problem. And if you have it at 1.6, you can see I can read it. So that's good. So what I do is I use OpenOffice um, as my main number one go-to open source um, office software suite 
to get my work done. So whenever you create documents, um, you won't have any kind of compatibility problems with it. Um, and you can open up um, the Microsoft Office files uh, very well, as you, as you saw here. Might not look as pretty as LibreOffice, but it's uh, it's much better. You see, that's that's uh, that's how you can make it display in OpenOffice in no time. And uh, after 20 minutes, or if you let, let's say after five minutes, you're still you're still left with this mess here in uh, in LibreOffice. Okay, so um, so yeah. But if you want to have a look at WPS Writer, um, and if you don't do not need to edit um, documents that might contain sensitive data, um, then I would uh, recommend that you check out WPS uh, Office Software uh, Suite. And uh, you can get it for free at wps.com or wps-community.org, as I told you. And I will be posting up a follow-up video on how you install that software because you cannot install it uh, um, by uh, using the uh, application center of Ubuntu. Um, so if, you have, if you're having any problems, uh, you can just uh, wait for the next video, which will be up in the next few days. And also I will be taking a close and in-depth look at um, the whole WPS software suite, which comes with um, a word processor, a spreadsheet a program, and a presentation tool, presentation program. Um, so, so yes, uh, just for now, that's, uh, that's the news about uh, this new kind of Office software, and I will be checking it out um, in the next uh, video. Until then, stay tuned, and I would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.